Today we're going to talk about gratitude. Uh, I feel really good about that. <laughs> I'm in the mood. When uh, we think about our opportunity that we have here, it's easy to start feeling guilty, especially when your teacher nags at you constantly saying, 20 years, what have you done? OK, that's all I'm going to do, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> it's been 20 years now. <laughs> so you know, it's easy to feel guilty and then you know, uh, uh, hopefully if we've had any teaching at all, we don't hang out in guilt very long because as I've tried to teach many times, that's somebody else's emotion. We don't, we don't specialize in guilt around here. We go for remorse. <laughs> so immediately when you feel guilty, go straight to remorse and hang out there for just a brief time long enough to work it. Remorse is a good thing. It's an eye-opener. It's a self-awareness thing. One can, it's like a directional compass in some ways. If one makes a mistake and feels like no longer grounded, no longer going in the right direction, no longer sure of what's happening inside your brain, sometimes it's really good to take account and whether that account comes from your teacher on the outside or whether it comes from, hopefully, your own inner practice where you can look at your mind and say, hmm, some work to do here. Hmm, 20 years, still same poisons. Hmm. So we hope that eventually in our practice we come to terms with that and uh, go right past guilt into confession. Confession is very healthy. The difference between guilt and confession is that guilt stays inside like a cancer and is, has a warping effect. It closes doors. It doesn't open any doors. And remorse, on the other hand, is like, um, I hate to sound so graphic, but it's a little bit like a bloodletting. You know, to get the old blood out and let the new blood circulate, if, if you were thinking of perhaps a wound, let's say, if that was the analogy get the old blood out and uh, this way the wound can properly heal deeply from the bottom layer to the top layer. And that's how we use remorse. We don't like to hang out in anything because hopefully we've uh, taken to heart some of the Buddha's teachings which include renunciation. Not only renunciation of materiality and, and uh, five poisons and ego clinging and all that kind of stuff, but even such inner events as guilt. You know, uh, if they're not handy, if they're not useful, if they don't move you forward, we renounce them. We've learned on this path what to accept and what to reject. So it's all about growing. It's all about walking the path and making it happen for you. Walking your walk. Walking your talk. <laughs> 